Hey guys, it's Solibar here. So I want to make this bracket onto the base plate below. I expect the bracket to be a short distance away from the first rib of the base plate. For now, I want to position this bracket about 5mm away from that first rib, just to see how it will look. But eventually, for a more stable assembly, I will prefer to perform this mate using a plane on the part and one of the primary planes of the assembly. So let's explore how to make a temporary mate. So let's open up the Mate Property Manager and take a look at the bottom of the panel. You can see that there is this option called Use for Positioning Only, which is unchecked by default. Upon checking this, any mate that we add from this point on will not be added as an actual mate. So let's perform a distance mate between a face on a rib and a face of the bracket. Let's do a distance mate of 5mm and exit. Let's right click on the part and check on the mates folder. You can see that there are no distance mate added. This was an earlier mate that was used to constrain the base of the bracket to the base plate. So let's open up the mate property manager again. With the bracket in place, I want to add an actual distance mate between a plane in the bracket and a parallel plane in the assembly. If you look at the bottom of the panel, you can see that the use for positioning only option is unchecked by default. Now there's no need to bring out the measure tool to measure the distance between these two planes and enter that particular value. Just pick on the two planes in the assembly tree. At this point, SOLIDWORKS would assume a coincident mate and start to align the parts that way. However, if we change the mate to distance, the part reverts back to its original position and SOLIDWORKS calculates that distance automatically. Alright, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.